Hello, 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 and welcome to Recipe of the Day. We are here today at episode 99, so that is very exciting. We are on Countdown to 100, which will be Wednesday at 3 o'clock, um, and we are going to make a couple fun holiday things today that I thought looked delicious, and with one of my favorite things, we are going to be making two eggnog recipes today yum first one being homemade eggnog so if you've never made it we are going to make it today and then we are also going to make this delicious um, eggnog cranberry cheesecake bar oh my goodness looks delicious and it looks like so, uh, something i'm going to freeze it um, and bring it out for christmas eve so we will see how that goes and we'll see if it lasts <laughs> for me to have it to freeze but anyway, we're going to get started here with our homemade eggnog. So here, over here in the mixer, I'm going to start mixing. We have four, and pull over here Instagrammer so you can see, four egg yolks going in. And then I have a third of a cup of sugar. And we are going to start beating that while I put the milk on the stove here. Oh, whoops. We're going to start beat, beating that if it's plugged in. Hold on a second. My magic hands will fix that. <laughs> a second ago because I was I was whipping before you got here. Oh my gosh. Hey Nancy, how are you? And Jill, welcome. Oh, fruit cake. I've never made a fruit cake. Have you made a fruit cake? <laughs> oh no. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to start that whipping. And then it's, it's loud here because I know it gets in my microphone. Um, I'm going to put two cups of milk and then a cup of half and half in the pan behind me to get started. This is our eggnog, yummy. And let that start warming up. Now you could use cream, and the recipe calls for, for cream, but I had half and half, and come on, like how much cream can we really eat during the holidays? <laughs> so let me get that started warming up while our egg yolks are getting nice and light and yellow. Yummy. Has anyone ever made your own eggnog before? Hey Florence, how are you? We are making eggnog and we are going to be making a cheesecake eggnog cranberry bar. Oh my gosh, they look delicious. So while we're getting our eggs, we just go super, super fast here. And we're just going to look at I have a very large bowl. I have a six quart bowl and I only have four egg yolks in there. So, try and get it done quick so you don't have to listen to me blend. So, if everyone got that, um, their Christmas shopping done? I'm not sure I've even started yet. I did um, mail a box yesterday, two boxes, I got, uh, got there to UPS, and it was crazy. So. Uh, Public service announcement, get your boxes out, because it was crazy at UPS yesterday. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, you're the best, Anthony. The new Ida Garten. What can I make you? Shoot, if you were closer. We used to live in your hood there in Orinda, but now we are down here at the beach. It's a gorgeous day at the beach today. For those of you I've seen on Facebook, some people are getting snow. Uh, but we do not have snow here at the beach. It is beach weather. Probably 70 degrees here and beautiful. Hey, Tammy, how are you? Christmas shop shopping. I'm not sure I've even started yet. Anybody got any ideas for Rex for a 17-year-old boy who doesn't need anything? I'm open. <laughs> okay, so I have whipped the egg yolks and the sh sugar together here. And I have the um, milk and the half and half I'm warming up behind me. And I am going to get my instructions here. <laughs> oh, make sure I get it all go up, go up here. So we're gonna get the milk warmed up quickly, and then I will temper it into the egg yolks. I'm gonna put a little bit of nutmeg into our milk, um, and uh, oh, get the lid off this because you know a little bit of nutmeg goes a long way, right? Oh my gosh. So I'm going to put a little bit of nutmeg in our milk there. And I'm, I'm also going to put a dash of vanilla just because I like it. This recipe didn't call for, for it, but I'm going to. So we're getting in our milk here. 
Okay, just a splash, because it's gonna be really eggnog, not vanilla, but what else isn't good with more vanilla, right? Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, so we're gonna get that warmed up there. And while that is warming up, I think I'll start my crust for the cranberry. So this cranberry bar thing, oh my gosh, looks so delicious. Um, and it started with, and I thought easy, because most of the things, there's only one thing I had to go buy. Everything else I had in my, in my pantry, which I always love. The thing I went to go buy, a spice cake mix. That's what it starts with. So how easy is that? So the spice cake mix going in here. And then I have two and a half cups of uh, oats going in there. And then the oats, those are those, um, the gluten-free ones from, Tra from Trader Joe's I like because they're so big and they have some chewiness. So the whisk is in front of me, so we will um, use that. I, 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 ah, whoops, splashing away back here. I hear my milk back here bu uh, bubbling and I don't want to scald it. So see how many things I can do at once here. <laughs> And talk to you guys. Okay, so the spice mix and the oats are in here, and then I'm going to take the um, the butter that I melted here. We had a little microwave disaster with the but with the butter, so I gave up and went old school here. So um, a stick and a half or so of butter going in. Oh my gosh, yum! And I will mix that up, and it is going to be the crust of our cranberry eggnog cheesecake bar. Uh, yeah, yum. And this one is the kind of thing I think that tastes better when you make this in the house. And I can tell you that a whisk was probably not the right thing for this job. <laughs> I got my butter stuck in my whisk. Oh. I just pick up the nearest tool when I'm talking to you guys, getting sidetracked. So what is Santa going to bring you all this year? Anybody going skiing? Anybody have any exciting plans? I think the chairlifts are open because I see some of our people are skiing this week. Sounds fun. Oh my gosh, this is going to be so yummy. This is also going to be the base of our cheesecake bar, but it is also going to be the topping. It's going to have a crumble topping. Oh my gosh, delish. So I just get some of this so I got it all. Uh, with some butter on there, and then we're going to press it into our pan here. Okay, so I have our pan prepared. Our milk is still warming up there, and I'm going to put most of this, but I'm going to save a little bit for the crumb topping into the bottom of this pan for, we'll save, uh, save that much. I like uh, topping. So I'm going to spread this out into the pan. Oh my gosh, that spice mix, cake mix smells so good. I thought, well, that looks easy and yummy. Let's try that. <laughs> and different, because we are going to put the cheesecake mix in here, and then we're also going to put cranberries in here. I know, cranberry sauce. So let's get this pressed down. Where is my assistant when I need her? <laughs> oh, let's go for the hands here. Oh, this topping looks so good with the um, oatmeal in, it, in here. Hold on, let me get it pressed down and I will show you guys. Because I definitely want it to be firm so when you cut the bars, they hold together and you don't have your crust all crumble. Okay, oh my gosh, look how yummy that looks. You see the oatmeal in there? Yummy. Okay, let's go back to our eggnog here. As our milk is warm, we grab another whisk and um, this is, oh my gosh, warmed up here. So I'm going to temper, which means warm up a little bit my egg yolks with this. I'm just going to put a little bit because what happens if we put hot milk into egg yolks? What do we not want to happen? Yes, you're right. We don't want scrambled eggs. So I'm just going to take a little bit of our milk and I'm going to whisk it in here to our yolks just to warm up the yolks a little bit. It's called tempering so we don't make scrambled eggs because we are not making scrambled eggs. We are making eggnog. Oh my gosh. Yum! So I'm just tempering a little bit of our hot milk into our eggs 
and then I'll pour the eggs into our milk and put it back on the stove. Oh my gosh. But I don't want to make scrambled eggs. <laughs> so I have warmed up the eggs now, so that's how you temper eggs, and I will put it back in. Oh yeah, you need, don't, aren't your groomers coming to the house? I think they come and they sit out, they do it outside for the group for the grooming. I know your new puppy looks so cute. Eh, uh, eh, uh, Anthony. I'm ready for a new puppy too. Our dog died last year. And we're missing her. Our big Doberman. But lots of people have have puppies. I may have the chance to dog sit because so many people got new puppies over the COVID. Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna turn that up a little bit. So we're gonna let our eggnog cook for a couple of minutes. And while that is happening, I'm gonna have um, my magic hands wash my bowl real quick. So we wash that real quick and I'm gonna start beating up our filling. And then another piece of this is the cranberry sauce. Now look how I open this for TV. For TV. Ha, it's not even Instagram wrong. I just opened the wrong end. So I'm in a hurry trying to get everything ready and open before you guys get here. So I think I'll do this in this bowl. So I'm going to take a can of whole cranberry sauce and put it in my bowl here. And I'm going to mix it with um, two teaspoons, I think, tablespoons or teaspoons of cornstarch. It's two tablespoons of cornstarch. So I will get that going on here. Okay because this is gonna help firm it up to put a little cornstarch in our cranberries so that um, it doesn't get runny. So this is part of our topping for our yumminess. So mixing our cranberries. So see how, e how easy is this? I love the spice cake mix, the oatmeal. We're gonna make a little cheesecake fill, uh, filling here right now and then put this on top and then the crumble on top of that and OMG. We have a yummy holiday cream cheese eggnog cranberry yumminess. <laughs> hey Destiny, how are you? We're having a ball here, cooking away. So I've got my eggnog going on here. And while that is cooking up, hold on, we give it a stir. The recipe says stir constantly, so we are not stirring it constantly. But it's going to thicken up there. Because I only got two sets of hands here. Okay, back to the mixture. Okay, well now we're going to make the filling for our cream cheese fi uh, fi uh, filling. Hey, Debbie Wolf, how are you? I can actually read your name on the Instagram. How's it going? What's happening? In here goes two. I'm going to need a, a mixer attachment to put on here, aren't I? I know, I've, used, I've, beat, I've beaten so many things in the last half hour I've used all my attachments. <laughs> but let me get the, the beater atta attachment here. Where's the paddle? I don't, this will work. I don't know where my paddle went, but this one will work. I got all the, att the attachments. Isn't this cool? This is the, ru the rubber spatula one. So let me stick it on here. And to that, we are going to switch our recipes here, make sure I get it all in here. So we've got our cream cheese. I'm going to put some sugar, a half a cup or so, in with our cream cheese. Now the cream cheese is room temperature because it's much easier to deal with when it is. It mixes together much better. So the cream cheese, sure, some nutmeg, a little bit of nutmeg, again, a pinch. This is an eighth of a teaspoon because nutmeg, a little bit goes a long way. So we get a little bit of nutmeg in our filling. And then we're going to put in the eggnog is why I picked this recipe today it was for the eggnog. Let me get this, beat this up real quick. Now you can do this by hand. I'm just trying to do it quick. But I like the cream cheese to get nice and fluffy. So we've got that fluffy. Now I'm going to add our half a cup of eggnog. So I got a little, gen a little generous there on my eggnog. <laughs> I poured it in my measuring cup. So that is our um, half a cup of eggnog in our cheesecake mix. I'm going to put two tablespoons of flour in there. And then I'm going to put three eggs in, but I'm going to let that mix for a, se a second while I'll stir the eggnog. Oh my 
thickening up beautifully there, our eggnog, and our cream cheese, and eggnog. It's eggnog day here at Recipe of the Day. Okay, so to that, I'm going to put our three eggs in. See, I can't see your comments. Or so. Hey, Rhonda, how are you? I know, today is 99, episode 99. Can you believe it? What should we make for our 100th recipe, gang? My loyal people, my loyal viewers. What is good? Ideas. I'm open to, I, to, I, to ideas for our 100th episode. Can you believe that? What did you learn during COVID? All kinds of things. How to grocery shop. <laughs> How to cook quick. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, yum. Get that all mixed up. Looks delicious. Because he doesn't love cheesecake, right? I mean, right on. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to put a pinch of salt in this. Just because I think salt always brings out the flavor of the sweet. So I'm just going to put a little bit of salt in here. Yes. Well, yeah, that too. How to pack on the pounds. That's for dang sure. Especially when orange theories close. Please open. Please, please, please. We need the gym to counteract the cooking show <laughs> and all the other yummy things that everyone's been eating. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at that. I have, a, I have a recipe I'm testing tonight in the crock pot. It's a Caribbean beef stew. So I am testing a recipe too while I'm testing two in front of you here, but I've got one in the crock pot too. It looked delicious. So we will let you know. I'm going to clean off my batter here. Oh my gosh. I guess I have to taste that too, right? Oh my goodness. Oh, hello. Eggnog pop. Oh my gosh. Okay. I can tell you right now that these uh, bars are going to be delicious because that is delicious. So here's our crust back. Let me stir this, cool it down a little bit. Because I definitely got my eggnog hot enough here. See that? The steam. I'm going to cool it down a little bit. So we definitely brought that to a boil. Okay, so on to these cheesecake bars. Oh my gosh, you guys, this filling is delicious. Yummy. And I need another spatula. I get all my tools and then I use them all <laughs> before I'm done. Oh my gosh. I know. What should we make? Okay, so here's our crust. Onto it is going this yummy eggnog cheesecake filling. Oh my goodness. Yes. Can you say like yummy? Yeah. Oh my goodness. This looks and it tastes amazing because I love eggnog. <laughs> oh. So that is all going in there. So let me spread that out and then we're going to do our cranberry layer on here. Oh my goodness. This is going to be killer. Oh, yes. You know, you see all those flavors of cheesecake at the Cheesecake Factory. And you're like, man, how do they think, think of all those flavors? And they just, you know, everyone, I mean, they sell millions of cheesecakes, right? So I'm like, oh my gosh, look at that. How yummy that looks. Oh, okay. So now I'm going to take our, we mixed our can of cranberries with the cornstarch. I'm going to drizzle that on here. Oh. Yum! Uh, yeah, who else loves cheesecake? What's your favorite flavor of cheesecake? Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Let's try and get it on here so every piece, every bite gets some cranberry. Oh my gosh, this looks delish. Okay, so then we're going to top this with a uh, our crumble is our crust, crust and, cr and cr crumble are one and the same here. So back to my, here's my crust that was our spice cake mix and the oatmeal. And we're going to take this and crumble it back on. <laughs> yeah, Jill, you're going to get, you're going to get grub up and kick back and have a cocktail for the hundredth episode. <laughs> 
pomegranate seeds. Oh my gosh, Anthony, if you didn't see, um, I made uh, What's Gabi Cooking uh, Brussels sprout salad, OMG, with pomegranate seeds, and you shred the Brussels sprouts and some spinach, goat cheese I put in there, and some spiced nuts. It is the best salad you've ever had. I made it on the show, I don't know, like a month or so ago. We've made it several times since. It's so good. Okay, so on top goes our crumble. And there we go. We are going to bake that for like an hour till it's set. And then we have our uh, uh, eggnog cranberry crumble bars. I mean, seriously, like yum. Two thumbs up, huh? I got two thumbs up from, from the crew. Okay, so back to the eggnog. So I'm going to try and chill this down uh, really quick. I made a I made a little ice bath to try and do this, so you usually would chill this before I do my next step, but I'm going to try and chill it here real quick while you guys are watching, and we'll pour it in here. It is definitely very hot. Oh my gosh, yum! And I'm going to stir that for a second, so talk amongst yourselves while we try and chill this down a little bit <laughs> in my bowl here. I know, those bars look great, huh? I know. Oh my gosh. So eggnog, I'll tell you an eggnog story. We had sold a house, this amazing house, I mean sweeping ocean view, just killer. And it was one of those that hadn't been for sale forever because the people lived there for like ever. And then um, the buyers actually, we represented the seller, but the buyers actually invited us to their first Christmas party at, at this house when they had bought it. And the, the buyer had made homemade eggnog, and she had it in these punch bowl, like this big. And it had the, thing, the um, egg whites and the whipped cream floating in this eggnog. I tell you, it was like the best thing I've ever had. Of course, I didn't know that it was basically like drinking cream. <laughs> but that day, I'm like, this is the best eggnog I've ever had. Oh, and it was amazing. So sat out there and sipped my eggnog, looking at the ocean view. It was amazing. Oh my gosh. Hey Lynn! Lynn Tiki and I hiked the new trail here in Ventura yesterday morning. We hiked the, what's it called Lynn? Oh, over there on the side of Missionary Church, that new trail. It was so nice. It's wide and nice and there was really nobody out there. And we had a very nice time hiking and catching up. It was great. Hey Janet, how are you? We are making homemade eggnog and I'm just trying to cool down my, my uh, hot milk here. Hot milk and half and half and it's actually it's working I can feel it cooling down because I'll show you what we're gonna do next oh my goodness we are gonna finish this because normally you put this in the fridge you know till it cooled down but who's got time for that when you're live you just do it right here hey Gloria how are you good to see you sweet lady how are you oh my gosh I'm just cooling down our eggnog here and then I'm gonna finish it with our delicious floating islands I'm going to put in there. Now, if you like booze in your eggnog, go for it. If you like rum or you like bourbon, uh, go for it. I am one that likes my eggnog straight up like this as a dessert. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so let me finish this. I have a bowl here to do this in. So I'm going to take my milk and eggs here that I have cooled down, put it in the bowl. And then to this, I am going to add the rest. Now, if you weren't live, you would put this in the fridge and cool it down some more. But I'm going to take our whipped egg whites, because I whipped the egg whites, and we're going to float these in our eggnog here. And then uh, to that, I also have a cup of whipped cream that I whipped. So we do have some cream in our eggnog. And I'm going to put the whipped cream in there and stir that around and we're going to fold the egg whites into our um, egg mixture and oh my gosh there we go that is our homemade uh, eggnog and I'm going to have to have a sip while you guys are here so let me grab something to take a sip of that in uh, uh, let's see let's see how we use a cup here oh my gosh this looks unbelievable so we've got our egg whites and our eggnog and our, I'm going to put a little dash of egg uh, nutmeg on top for our garnish and give this a taste. Oh my goodness, delicious. So that was 
easy and what a difference that makes. Delicious. So let me quickly get to our birthday shout outs because we have a whole bunch of them today. Oh my gosh. That is like custard in a glass. It's delicious because basically that's what it is, but it is delicious. So you see our bloating island with our egg whites in here. So let me um, do our birthday shout out. So if you guys saw the show, my sister got me this birthday shout out hat that is unbelievable and it lights up, but I don't have the lights on today, but check this out. Oh my gosh. She had this made for me for my birthday shout out hat. So check that out. It's so awesome. And we have a bunch of birthday shout outs today. It is Francois's birthday. My favorite friend in Key Biscayne. Francois, happy birthday to you, dear one. I wish we were closer. Um, I just love you. And then Annette Robinson, it's your birthday today. And Linda Wright, happy birthday to you. It is your birthday this week. And Sharon Young, my dear friend, my COVID card Saturday night. Uh, friend, we'll be trying that Caribbean beef stew I've got in the crock pot. It is your birthday, dear friend. And then Chris Connor this week. Happy birthday to you. And today is National Gingerbread House Day. It is also Poinsettia Day. And I want to have a shout out to um, Tim Blackwell, my insurance a uh, a uh, agent. He's the insurance dude.com. He dropped a poinsettia on my front door yesterday. It just made my day. So shout out to you, Tim Blackwell. You're so awesome. And I'm sure you knew today was poinsettia day. And it's also dingling day. So it is dingling day. And that means you need to pick up the phone and give somebody a dingling, uh, call them up, and someone you haven't talked to in a long time that you love and you miss and you just haven't talk, uh, talked to, pick up the phone on dingling day and give them a ringy dingy and call them. Especially if you know someone is home alone or, or elderly, um, give them a call. And you can tell them it's national dingling day. So thank you guys for watching. We love you guys being here. Remember, there's only two things you can control, your effort and your attitude. So always pick a good one and always do your best. And we love having you here. Remember, we do real estate. So visit us at GaryAndLisa.com. And you can follow us on YouTube at Ventura Real Estate. And you can see us here, see us on Instagram. Um, but we always love to talk about real estate. So market is crazy. If you're thinking about selling in the new, in the new year, give us a call and let's get started. So we will see you soon. Thanks for watching.